Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Rishu Chahan and in this video, we will going to study about what characteristics of fungi can be seen under a microscope. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start with the first one is the bipolaris species. The distinguishing feature of bipolaris species is the production of multi-celled, elliptical to oval, thick-walled macroconidia with smooth surface. If we take a close inspection of these conidia in preparation using a stain such as lectophenol cotton blue or LPCB, will disclose that the septation between the cells of the conidium are incomplete and these are termed as septate. So, one more thing I would like to add in that, that the bipolar species are important cause of fungal keratitis following an eye injury. And now, next one is curvularia species. Macroconidia of curvularia species are easy to recognize having 4 to 5 cells which is separated by transverse septa. Curvularia species is an important cause of phaohyphomycosis. And now next one is Candida albicans. Gram staining reveals gram positive oval budding yeast cell. So the true hyphae and the pseudo hyphae can be differentiated by the germ tube test. So next one is Aspergillus niger. So microscopically, vesicles is globular shaped, phyllids are in two rows, conidia arising from entire vesicle and conidias are black in color. Now next one is Aspergillus fumigators. Vesicles is conical shaped, phyllids are arranged in single row, conidia arise from upper third of vesicle. Next one is Aspergillus flavors. Vesicles is globular shaped as similar in Aspergillus niger. Phyllids are present in one or two rows. Conidias arising from entire vesicles. Now next one is Rhizopus. So they have umbrella shaped sporangium is present and as well as at the base of the sporangial four nodal rhizoids is present and aseptate hyphae is present. Now, next one is mucor species. Here, I would like to add that in mucor and the rhizopus, both have aseptate hyphae, means septations is not present here. And above side is the globe-like structure, which is sporangium. And within the sporangium, sporangial spores are present. One more thing is that, that in mucor, nodal rhizoids which is present in rhizopus are absent so that's all for today if you have any doubt please comment down it below so please do subscribe my channel like it and share it